we choose the right format, we leak the information to the public, and we defend ourselves against inevitable leak. Yeah, hello, thank you. My name is Klaus Wiesinger. I'm the director here of NOMA PS1 and chief curator at large of NOMA. And I want to welcome Maya back to NOMA PS1. <laughs> we have a long-standing collaboration already. We are both still standing, so that's wonderful. No pun intended. Um, and without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to your performance and to your presentation of your work. And it has exactly the same format we always do as artists, so you hear presentations and we do a Q&A. I'll ask exactly the same question I ask with any studio visit, so it's kind of unusual questions most probably for some of you. And afterwards we will bring in some wine and some water, so please stay with us, we stay here in the dome. And very importantly, the, door, uh, the book did not arrive due to the hurricane, but we have two books, I'm getting actually the two of them up here right now, and they're wonderful prints that Maya made, and she's willing to donate a portion of, uh, of the income of these prints to the victims of the hurricane in Rockaway, which I think is really great. Now you are here alone.
they had to get around the world the fastest in order to win a prize. And um, the parents said to the kids, who, you know, who is going to go around the world the fastest? And the second son jumped on a peacock and flew around as fast as possible. And the first son walked around his parents and said, that's the world. So that's kind of where my um, concept came from, to name the albums after my parents. Um, so the first thing I want to bring up is Actually, the first thing I want to bring up is what I was doing before, before the album, which is this sort of stuff which um, I found on my friend who wrote the forward his computer at his mom's house. So this um, was just basically video loops, and it's kind of like gifts that I spent a long time doing at his, in his garage. This is in his garage. And I found this jumper in a, a thrift store that day. And so I was just sort of, this is kind of what I did <laughs> that time. And basically, I didn't have a computer. It must have been like year 2000, maybe 1999. And I used to go around to his house. He had a computer. And, you know, he, we didn't have Photoshop, but he was talking about getting Photoshop. And I didn't know what it was. And, you know, I was making, he was an animator. This is what he was doing. And I was doing this. And these are my stencils that basically I sprayed on the wall and then I re-photographed the stencils and then reanimated the stencils using his computer. And so that's why the only way this thing exists is on his computer because I lose all my stuff all the time. Um, this might actually be on the floor. It wasn't even on. It wasn't even on the wall. It was on the floor tiles of his studio, which is made up of cork, and it was my idea <laughs> because I was really into cork at the time, and I thought it would be nice on the floor. But I didn't know how to. I was gonna. I was gonna resin it but I didn't get around to doing it because <laughs> I ran out of money, so I just painted it yellow. <laughs> then I used to wear stilettos every day to the studio, and the whole thing was just disgusting. And so to make up for it, I sort of um, sprayed pictures, and he had me. This was Steve's uh, drawing of me at St. Martin's in my bedroom. <laughs> that was me. So, it was really primitive, basically. I'm talking about years before computers. And so, everything seemed really laborious, really boring. Um, I didn't have the patience didn't have any money and you know I was trying to sort of find my way way out 